Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales for August 21, 2019. So we are going to discuss a total of 10 questions today and a lot of these questions I am actually expecting to come directly in the examination, whether in phase 1 or in phase 2. So please stick around, do not uh, forward this video because in this lesson I am going to discuss some very important questions. Okay, so let us start with the session. The first question for today is which country has been invited as special guest at the G7 summit. So what you have to do is number one you have to tell me in the comment section below what is G7 and how many members and which all members are a part of G7. Okay, now this is the 45th G7 summit to tell you and this is going to be held from August 24 to August 26 in 2019 in Biarritz in France. Biarritz in France. Okay, remember that can be asked in the examination. And now a total of three members have been or three countries have been invited as guest uh, countries Australia, India and Spain. So this becomes important because India has been invited as a guest country as a guest member by G7 which means that India has been given extreme importance by G7 countries which are all developed nations. Okay. Second question, what is the name of the scheme launched by Science and Engineering Research Board to fund the scientific research programs? It's under CERB India. What is the full form of CERB? You have to tell me that. CERB, what is the full form of CERB? It comes from the question itself. A new scheme has been launched called as Supra. Now, what is the purpose of this scheme? It is a part of PM uh, Modi's 100 days transformative ideas initiative. And under this, uh, the workers, the scientists, sorry, uh, who have been working on cutting edge technologies related to science and technology will have a new research funding uh, so that they can expand their research, so that they can strengthen their research, so that they can experiment more and become more successful in their researches. So the answer to this question is Supra. Which country is the top emitter of anthropogen anthropogenic sulfur dioxide according to Greenpeace Global SO2 Emission Hotspot Database ranking the world's worst sources of SO2 pollution report? Very important question. I am expecting this question to be asked in the examination somehow. The answer to this question is India. Now there are two reasons for India's top spot as SO2 or sulfur dioxide emitter. Number one, sulfur dioxide is one of the byproducts which is emitted when you burn coal. That means that India has been burning a lot of coal which is not bad, not good for the country and also not good for global environment. And secondly, India has a lot of hotspots. Uh, therefore, these hotspots which might be natural in nature are also one of the reasons for high SO2 emission. But the major reason which has been mentioned by this report is that uh, in central part of India, the coal uh, burning has increased and therefore with that SO2 emission has also increased. So the answer is India. Where will India's first Central Institute of Chemical Engineering and Technology be launched? The answer is Gujarat because Gujarat is considered very good at uh, chemical engineering as well as chemical facilities, chemical institutions, chemical uh, industries and therefore uh, it makes sense to create institutions of chemical engineering. Recently uh, a central institute of plastic engineering and technology had also been launched. In Gujarat it will be launched uh, the chemical engineering institute either in Surat or in Batwa. Recently, Okjo Kal Glacier has completely lost its status as a glacier due to climate change. Where is this glacier located? Very high chances of this question coming. Please remember this question. Mug it up, do whatever you can. I don't know. But keep this question in mind. Keep this information in your mind. Okjo Kal Glacier, where is it? It is in Iceland. So this is the first time that one glacier has completely been lost and Iceland is mourning upon it. Okay. The base year for the proposed CPI for agriculture workers and rural workers. Now a lot of confusion here. People who follow Live Mint will say it's financial year 18-19, therefore financial year 19. People who follow uh, Indian Express or let's say Economic Times would say 1920. But I believe personally that the confu confu uh, confusion in these 
in the newspapers minds is because the government is saying that next year or in financial year 1920 we are going to revise the base year for consumer price index for agriculture workers and rural workers but the base year is going to be 1819 however a lot of newspapers has have read it as we are going to revi revise it to the financial year 1920 so the confusion between 2 and n but because we don't have any uh, you know single information i am relying on financial year 1819 however it can change to financial year 1920 also and i'll let you know whenever it does so stick around watch it every day okay financial year 1819 is the revised base year that's going to be as per now what is the present base year for cpi agriculture workers and rural workers tell me that in the comment section below i want to know what is the uh, present base year in case i also don't know okay who has been appointed as the new president of paytm so paytm has uh, got a new president recently the answer is madhu deora a very factual question director general of world trade organization not being changed and therefore i want you to answer this question for me okay with which country has india signed an mou to develop ground earth station and satcom network for utilization of south asian satellite so we are talking about utilization of south asian satellite therefore it should be in south asia only okay so it has to be either nepal or bhutan because all the other countries are a part of south east asia now recently pm modi has been on a trip to bhutan so naturally the answer ca comes out to be bhutan director general of international labor organization another question that i want you to answer because the reason is that not been changed you should be able to answer this if you have been covering all the important director generals of international organizations uh, you should be able to answer these questions okay so you have to answer two direct questions today and you have to tell me answers to a lot of additional questions that i asked from you i hope you will be able to do that do it in the comment section below and wait for my response or wait for other students response you will certainly get an energy boost if your answers are correct okay all the very best take care have a nice day